What's up, guys? I'm gonna change up the part. I'm gonna see what I can do with this CRX. I had this thing since what was it 1999? And that's when I purchased this uh, SI motor around that time. This motor has at least uh, 43,000 miles. It's been sitting in a garage. The whole project, the car, and everything for like 14 years. Uh, I lost interest in it around 2008 when I picked up the RX-7. And I guess now I'm back on it. This car might go to my son. So I'm going to see what else I can do. We just put in the T4, uh, the T4 Garrett Turbo. So, there's a lot of modifications we're doing. Uh, trying to fit this big ass turbo in here with short, uh, short distance and it's fucking, it's a tight ass fucking fit, man. Yeah, this shit is tight. But we're gonna see what we can do. So what he's trying to do is put the bracket back on. Right here, after we install this turbo, I have to find to see if there's a smaller radiator to fit somewhere up in front here. And then I'm gonna customize the, uh, that's a little too dark. Uh, let me get the light. Uh, this is what we got here. We got the uh, TO4D Garrett Turbo installed into the uh, B16. During that time, a lot of people said I wasn't able to put this Civic engine in a CRX, but I uh, proved them wrong. Uh, ordered the uh, motor mounts, which are from uh, Place Racing. They're a little dirty, but uh, as you can see, uh, first motor mounts they made for the B series was from Place Racing. And then this is a uh, Acura Integra tranny with the cable. Um, I got the Acura axles, everything from that year. The discs, all the way to the rear disc, are all from Acura. Even the injectors. Um, yeah, I friggin' put it, made sure everything worked on this car. And it was running powerful before I had the uh, turbo on. I'm trying to figure out 
what kind of small radiator can I put in here? Because as the turbo come out, it has a four inch pipe, which I'm gonna have to reduce to three, the three inch, which I'll come down through here and then around and attach to that. So in between here, I'm gonna need a small radiator uh, to keep the engine cool. Uh, maybe I can put a, uh, Maybe I can put, uh, I don't know, I gotta look for something small. Maybe I'm thinking about a uh, uh, motorcycle uh, radiator with the fan that'll keep it cool. Maybe it can fit in this little spot. So I'm trying to modify everything to fit, to fit in here. Nice and secure, hidden away. So that way the car will look basically like a sleeper. Oh, all this right here, that's all going to get sprayed down and cleaned up. It's just been sitting here for so long. Uh, I'm just getting back into it. Um, and we'll see how everything runs. Right now, we're going to start it up. And uh, since we uh, put the turbo on and see how she's responding to it. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Hopefully, she starts on. First try. It's been uh, 14 years. Now we're going to see if she starts or not. That'll let you know how the engines are truly good. Uh, I got my uh, RX-7. I lost interest in this car when I bought that RX-7. Because I had to build that car, that exotic car. So Beautiful. I love this car. And I love the CRX. Alright, we're going to try to see if she starts. a sleeper we'll see once it's all done I put her together and uh, like I said my main priority is trying to find a smaller radiator to fit in here and hook it up with a fan in order to keep the cooling so I keep the engine uh, nice and cool I'm gonna have to find a spot to put two radiators in here 
and then figure out something because if that if you like uh, smash that like button um, subscribe um, tune in because there's gonna be a lot of uh, changes done uh, maybe I might just go all out with the car and just redo the whole damn thing and, and I don't know, we'll see.